One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Nine. Ten. Good morning. Happy Monday. All right, we're gonna run through our ball mastery session. I'm gonna be setting out one of these every week for you guys. All right. The aim is to practice this two to three times a week. Uh, each activity you're going to do is about 10 minutes long and um, you're going to have around five or six activities which means your session is going to be about 15 to an hour long all right shouldn't take any more than that you need a nice small space around you probably uh, 1.5 meters square by 2 meters square um, if anything just map out a box um, if you're doing it for yourself or get your parents to map out a, a nice short box for you guys in order to do it all right first activity i'm going to get straight into it all right all the activities will be in the comment section um, and I'm not going to go too much into this in terms of tutorial. Again, it's all about the mechanics of the body and how your feet are moving, that kind of thing. All right. First one we're going to do, we call this bottoms up. Okay. Nice and gently, we're just working the feet, getting the feet, the ball underneath the feet and driving the knees up nice and high. A good little teaching point is tuck the elbows in nice and tight. Okay. After every four touches, and this is slightly an advanced activity as you'll see on it, uh, is lifting the head up. Again, one thing you'll notice me talking about is the pictures always changing in football. So it's important that you guys adapt to that, all right? So don't keep your head down on the floor. Every four touches, pick the head up, back down, all right? So nice and gently, okay? Sole of my foot, okay? On my toes to start always, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, and you're gonna do 10 of those, all right? So nice and gently with my toes, go. So nice and gently, as you can see, one, two, three, four, head goes up, pitch is changing, one, two, three, four, head goes up, pitch is changing, okay? And I'll show you from the rear as well, as you'll see Romy doing it as well, from the front and the rear. So on my toes to start nice and gently. One, two, three, four. Head goes up. One, two, three, four. Head goes up. One, two, three, four. Head goes up. Alright. Um, I'll start off with basic stuff to start with because this is the first ball mastery session that we're throwing out here. Alright, but what I will do is advance it and you'll start to see different things coming in. Alright, to start to work on the psyche of your player, alright, and their vision and timing as well. Okay, so that's exercise number one. Okay guys, exercise number two, all right? It's gonna be the inside step over, okay? So we're working on the inside with the ball, going all over the top. And again, we're always doing this with both feet, all right? We're never gonna neglect the non-dominant side. We need to improve both sides up, all right? Especially when you're trying to improve your balance, okay? If you dominate one side and build that one up, this one's gonna be left behind and you're gonna struggle when you're moving laterally as well, okay? So start on the balls of my feet, okay? Always position yourself one foot behind the ball, whichever foot you're gonna work. So start on the balls of my feet, nice and gently. Come inside the ball, over the top, on your toes, fast feet. Over the ball, okay? And every time you make a step over, get into that fast feet motion, all right? Okay? Nice and gently, just throwing that leg over the top of the ball. Keep the elbows tucked in nice and tight. Again, from the rear, it will look like this. Always position that one foot behind the ball. Nice and gently on your toes, inside the ball, over the top, fast. Okay? Nice and simple there. For those of you who've been playing football for a while now, you should be able to pick that up quite comfortably. And even if they don't, it's never going to be perfect to start with, all right? You may find that you're throwing yourself out of line, okay? That's not an issue, okay? Just always try and bring it back in, keep yourself nice and tight, try and stay close to the ball, all right? Okay guys, exercise number three, all right? We've just done our inside step over for number two. We're now gonna go on to the outside step over, okay? So again, position yourself on the outside of the ball. This time we're working the outside leg coming over the top of the ball. When you do this, okay, you're not tucking the arms in nice and tight now, you're throwing the opposite arm with the opposite leg. That way, all right, you support yourself when you're moving in that direction. And also that opposite arm is used as a flash indicator to throw your opponent off balance. So I'll start on my balls with my feet again. Nice and gently, nice and gently. Arm goes up, pop, over the top. Arm goes up, pop. Okay, arm goes up, pop. Arm goes up, pop, all right? Arm goes up, pop. Arm goes up, pop. Don't even need to look at the ball for this one, all right? 
can take your time with it, all right? Look down, look up. I really important that you understand where the ball is at your feet and you also understand the picture, what's going on, okay? So just from the rear again, tuck myself behind the ball on my toes, arm goes up, toes, arm goes up, toes, arm goes up, toes, arm goes up, all right? Pretty easy, that one, all right, for exercise. Okay guys, exercise number four, all right? Now this is the trickiest one of today's session, okay? Uh, we call this push and pull, all right? And what we wanna try and do is most importantly here, sustain our balance, all right? This will only work if we sustain our balance. You're only working, okay, with small, tight touches with the ball, okay? You're pulling it towards you and then you're pushing it back. If you watch tutorial on our first actual program, all right, you would notice it was all about toe taps, okay? The technique uses that toe tapping technique, all right? So all we're gonna be doing is starting with the ball out in front of us, okay, we're gonna pull back and then push forward, okay? But the balancing leg is gonna work in a hopping forwards and hopping back motion, okay? So you're still working in that small imaginary box that you've drawn out for yourself or mapped out in clones, okay? Again, using the sole of the feet to combine in some of the things that we've done over the course of the week, last week, all right? So pulling it, pushing it, pulling it, pushing it, pulling it, pushing it, okay? So pull, push, and again, you don't really want to be moving the ball any more than two or three yards, okay? So small hop forwards and backwards, all right? For your balance, that's going to do massive things, all right? Once you get your balance as a footballer, you'll find it so much easier to be able to do most things anyway, all right? So again, I change it over onto the non-dominant side for me. Push, woo, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, all right? Nice and gently, not panicking. Even I find it a bit of a challenge. Again, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Nice and gently change side. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. All right. And that's uh, exercise number four and five. All right. And then the last one. And then the last one, ladies and gentlemen, is exercise number six, all right? This is my favorite one, and this is called salsa, all right? Again, we're positioning ourselves, okay, on the outside of the ball, and it's a bit of a combination of the first one we did bottoms up, okay, but we're gonna start making it a little bit more flamboyant, and a little bit more uh, flowing, should we say, all right? So again, you're working the sole of the feet, but now you're gonna throw the leg behind you as if you were doing a Rabona. So I'll start on my toes, touch, 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 sole on the ball, touch, 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 sole on the ball. All right, again, this one you want to bring the, the arms back in nice and tight, okay? And just literally try and avoid moving the ball too much. You just really want to stabilize on top of the ball. So you can sit from the rear again, nice and gently, okay? On the outside, touch, 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 touch. Keep those elbows tucked in tight. And again, the more competent you get at this, the more speed you can gradually pick up as you go along, all right? That is it for us today and exercise number six. All right, that's your ball mastery. My recommendation is you practice this again, two to three times a week to accelerate development. Again, you're working 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for 10 reps, or sorry, 10 sets, all right? That way, it's about an hour session, all right? Have a good one, I'll catch up with you guys in a week. See you later.